It's toy time, it's toy time It's toy time, it's toy time Welcome back, Toy Time Studio subscribers, YouTubers, online viewers, friends, family, Marvel fans, and fanatics alike. This is Danny Martinez here for Toy Time Studios. This is episode 48. And in this one, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. In this episode, this wasn't even a planned episode, actually. This was something that just resulted from a random trip to Walmart a few months back. Uh, I was perusing the aisles. I found, all of a sudden, I looked and I saw a few items there, these, these busts. And I had to take a look and see exactly what I was dealing with here. So when I looked at the brand and what the product was, then I realized that these products are Eagle Moss Hero Collector products. This is the Hero Collector Museum line for Marvel Studios. They were, uh, I believe, about 40 each. I like the size on them. The quality seemed pretty cool. And uh, they were selling for more on the secondhand market. So I decided, hey, this will make a cool video. Something nice to add to the Marvel Studios section that I'm still working on. But before we do that, I'd like to remind you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, help the channel grow. But first, give you a little background on Eagle Moss and their Hero Collector Museum line of busts. All right, now that that's out of the way, Let's get to the unboxing. This is unboxing number 33, and it's a, not a mass unboxing like the last one we did, but it's a multiple unboxing, but we're keeping it all within the same brand, same line. But first, I'll give you a look at the packaging. And as you can see, it's pretty clear, which is essential. I love having good packaging. That also helps sell the product. Uh, in my opinion, at least. When I was going through the aisles and looking at these things, I looked it up online on my phone, checked it out a little bit, but essentially being able to see it with this uh, clear, window type of uh, presentation it really helped make my decision a bit easier and ease any worries i had about you know uh what the quality of the product was so we'll just show you a few of the packages that way you get a good idea of what each one looks like in the package before i Totally take it out and unbox these beautiful mid-size pieces. I'm actually looking forward to it. Now, the only question that this brought up, or dilemma that this posed is, now, where do I display these? Do I break the set apart? Do I you know, uh, put each piece individually in the sections that I have that I have ready for each uh, each character. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I could put this Iron Man helmet bust in this Iron Man section. It would be appropriate there, but then. Uh, we'll see. 
I kind of have a section for each character, technically. I don't really have an official section for Captain America. Not necessarily. It's an unofficial section. And I do have a place where I keep most of Thor's hammers that I have. However, however, I'm still going to have to uh, figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll put some thought into that while I unbox these. And uh, then we'll figure it out from there, depending on how heavy they are. Then we'll start to decide if where the section that they will be put in, which sections are stable enough. Uh, certain weight requirements uh, and certain kind of statues, certain type of pieces or collectibles usually require a certain type of stability. So in that case, that's when I'll be making adjustments uh, depending where I put them. So the five pieces we got all together were Thor Mjolnir, we got the Black Panther mask, or helmet, you could say, uh, movie accurate, I like to add, uh, very, very movie accurate. We also got the Captain America shield, we picked up the Iron Man Mark Seven helmet, and of course, the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet with all the stones assembled. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now let's take a look inside these bad boys. First things first, we get our trusty X-Acto knife. Comes pretty well packaged, as you can see. They did a good job with the plastic and whatnot. Okay, so the base is pretty heavy, pretty solid. Comes with this kind of plastic tube. It looks, it's painted black, pretty sleek, not that heavy. And then the glove itself, which, the gauntlet, which uh, is pretty heavy as well. Slide right onto the uh, plastic pole there. Okay, yeah, needs a little force just to get it in there. The paint job, the paint job on it isn't too bad. Uh, I'd say the colors are a bit flat on the stones, to be honest. But for 40 bucks, what do you expect? Can't have it all. Let's give that a 360 look right there. Still pretty cool. I think they'll display together very very well I'm still deciding if I'm going to be keeping the boxes at all I kind of doubt it but I'll leave that for another uh, I guess I got a, another hour or two to the side before I make a move once they're gone they're gone um, I'm kind of hoping that the paint job on the rest of these doesn't come off as flat as this one. And when I say flat, I mean on just, just the stones. The rest of it looks pretty decently, uh, decent luster. Okay, so let's put this one to the side. The next one we'll open up now will be whoops here we go good thing you look in the box always look in the box because it also comes with a certificate of authenticity not bad okay not numbered or anything not that i see still not bad okay pretty nice so let's move that to the side and the next one we're going to open up will be, we'll open up Captain America's shield. So let's use that knife again. Now again, 
same deal comes exactly in the same kind of plastic encasing it's pretty secure pretty good i'm going to take that knife and just slice the sides off and then i'll put the certificate of authenticity up okay so we've got the base again all the bases are pretty heavy now it has this piece that's glossy on the one side reflective and then cardboard looking on the back with double-sided tape i'm assuming i don't have to take that off that's supposed to go on the back now facing the inside of the shield or facing the back i'm not sure so i just slide that in as much as it goes all right and then there's a little groove on the back of the shield which if you place it correctly rests perfectly all right now we'll take a look at the shield yep pretty decent paint job on it uh not completely flat but the metallic parts really pop so again like i said for the price still really really cool definitely going to be a fun item to display and it also has a little bit of engraving on the back there i just noticed on the back of the base the back of the shield is just metallic with some brown uh, paint jobs for the straps. Otherwise, you've got your basic shield there. Pretty cool. And now we have the Iron Man Mark 7 helmet bust. All right, every one of them have the same same style casing there. Pretty cool. Same style certificate of authenticity. And we're ready to take it out of this one. All right, so you got your, your base, your black plastic tube there. And you just got to make sure that you get it in the hole. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. Okay. Give it a spin. The helmet is pretty solid, actually, for this one. The base is solid, but the helmet is also solid. Still deciding where I'm going to put these, but the question is... Do I keep them together or break them apart? Which choice will it be? Not sure. I think I'm leaning towards breaking them apart. Now we'll get to our next one, Thor Mjolnir, or as Kat Dennings calls it. Yeah. Let's cut her out. I'm not gonna bother showing you the plastic casing this time. So you got your base. And then the helmet, I mean the, and then the hammer is heavy enough. that it'll just rest into the groove by itself like that. I do love, <laughs> ooh, maybe it's the other one. No. There it goes. I do love Thor's hammer. I do love Mjolnir slightly more than Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker's cool, 
the movie version. I do love the original Stormbreaker. However, I love Mjolnir the most, for, first and foremost. All right. All right. I'm going to have to be careful with this. This isn't quite as sturdy as it should be. That one should be a little heavier, probably, in my opinion. All right. So, uh, I forgot to show you the certificate of authenticity. I forgot to show you the certificate of authenticity, but there it is. I'm just putting them all in a pile. I may not even show you the next one because it doesn't really matter. So last but not least, we have the Black Panther mask. We're going to open this one up. Okay, so we've got the same style. The base is a little heavy, heavy, like a solid. It's a little scuffed on top. I don't know why. Probably just buff that out a little bit. The, he the head bust is pretty solid. A little heavier than the other ones, which is good because you want it to stay secure. And the paint job looks excellent on this. This one probably has the best paint job out of all of them. Let's give it a look. You can even see the etching, the design, the Wakandan designs in the fiber of, of his mask. This is, whoa, awesome. Definitely, hands down, this one's the best one out of the five that you see right here second place would probably be mjolnir just because of the etching that i forgot to mention and the details in the handle and in the paint job and the details in the hammer part as well uh great job and then third place would be iron man iron man head bust Okay, so we've got them all lined up. Just notice there's a little scuff on the Iron Man helmet, which is fine. It's all right. That happens sometimes when it's in the packaging. Maybe the paint wasn't completely dry. However, we've got them all lined up. going to give you one more last look at all five of them together. They would look really great with some cool lighting. That would be awesome. But, <clears throat> however, not sure how they're going to be lit where they will be yet. I'm starting to lean towards possibly. Uh oh. I'm starting to lean. Starting to lean towards possibly keeping them together and just letting them chill in the bookshelf section uh, amongst the other MCU Marvel Studios stuff. There's one box in particular I'm thinking of. However, that's still to be decided. But, we'll see. I may not get future products from them. Uh, it depends what they do. If they're affordable like this, and this size, and uh, this quality at the least, then uh, we, may do, we may keep doing business, all right? But, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for sticking through that. We'll... Uh, show you everything uh anything else we get in the future from this company eagle moss hero collector museum line this was at walmart so uh we'll see what happens in the future we'll keep checking walmarts and if anything comes out that we pick up i think actually we may have something else from them another type of product but I'll, i'm gonna have to take a look
So uh, we'll see you next time. Same toy time, same toy channel. Be safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll be back. Stay tuned for episode 49. Peace.